Ever wondered how it all began? The world, the races, the magic, and the power that is the Silmarillion? Let's dive right in. In the beginning, there was Eru Iluvatar, the One, who created the Divine Spirits, the Ainur. From their harmonious music, the world was shaped. But not all was peaceful. Melkor, the mightiest of the Ainur, rebelled and became Morgoth, the first Dark Lord. Then came the Elves, the firstborn of Iluvatar's children, awakening by the waters of Quivienen. Their knowledge and craftsmanship were unparalleled, especially Finor, the most gifted among them. Finor created the Silmarils, three radiant gems that contained the unmarred light of the two trees of Valinor. The Silmarils, however, were not just beacons of light and beauty, they also sowed the seeds of greed and conflict. The seeds of greed and conflict were sown with the creation of the Silmarils, precious gems that contained the light of the two trees of Valinor. The world was young, and harmony was shattered as the War of the Jewels erupted. The Silmarils, precious beyond measure, were stolen by the Dark Lord Morgoth, inciting the wrath of Finor and his sons. Bound by a fiery oath, they vowed to reclaim these radiant jewels, setting in motion a series of epic battles that would shape the fate of the world. Key figures emerged during this tumultuous time. Beren and Luthien, a man and elf maiden, undertook a daring quest to retrieve a Silmaril from Morgoth's iron grip. Turin, a tragic hero, fought valiantly against the dark forces. And Tuor, guided by divine providence, led the people of Gondolin in a crucial battle. In the end, Morgoth was overthrown, but not without great cost. The land of Beleriand sank beneath the waves, forever lost. The War of the Jewels ended, but the world was forever changed, setting the stage for a new age. After the tumultuous events of the First Age, the Second and Third Age brought about new challenges and heroes. The rise of Sauron, Morgoth's former second-in-command, marked the start of a new era. Sauron, cunning and seductive, mastered the art of deceit and began the forging of the Rings of Power. These rings, laden with promises of wealth and power, were distributed to the races of Middle-earth, all while Sauron secretly crafted the One Ring to control them all. However, in the Second Age, the last alliance of elves and men challenged Sauron, resulting in his downfall. But peace was fleeting. As the Third Age dawned, darkness stirred once again. Sauron, though bodiless, was far from defeated. And in the quaint corner of the Shire, Bilbo Baggins stumbled upon the One Ring, unknowingly setting a grand adventure into motion. And thus, the stage was set for the events we all know and love from the Lord of the Rings, a tale born from the ashes of the Silmarillion's epic saga.